Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here at the annual fundraiser for the Clover Area Assistance Center. If you like fascinators and you're fascinated with bourbon, you'll want to stay tuned and check this one out. Tonight is the night, the big gala talk derby to me. And of course, Karen Van Veersen, you're the executive director of CAC. What is CAC? CAC is Clover Area Assistance Center. Center, okay. Mm -hmm. So you are really servicing those in need in the Clover area within what, the school district? We, within the school district, yes. So it covers a pretty large area, about 146 square miles. Wow. Yeah. And this is your annual fundraiser. It is our largest fundraiser of the year, and this is our 15th annual. It's a big deal tonight. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. I love the theme. Talk Derby to me. Mm -hmm. Of course, all the guests, the men are so dapper, and the women in their, their fascinators hats. and oh, hats. Yes. We can't think about the derby, right. the races, without good old bourbon. That's right. And Matt, tell me about your company. Well, we're just a small store in Lake Wiley, and um, we love to support local events, especially community events like this one. Um, and Woodford Reserve is actually one of the primary sponsors of the Kentucky Derby. So when they came and asked us to help sponsor again, we we're going to say yes, but then they said, well, we're doing a Kentucky theme for the Derby. And I said, well, guess what? Every year they release a limited edition Kentucky Derby bottle um, with a local artist from Kentucky. So we're just out here letting people try bourbon, some for the first time, some every day. But and it's really good. It's very, very good. Tonight is especially important for you, Charlotte. Yes, it is. We certainly want this to be a success. It's my first year as a co-chair, and Pam has had years of experience with doing this, and I couldn't have pulled, pulled this off without Pam and Pam's advice. She and Alice, yours have really, really come through for me. Well, Charlotte has done an awesome job this year, and I'm so glad to have passed the torch to Charlotte. <laughs> and the, the most important part of this is that we're raising funds for the Clover Area Assistance Center, which takes care of the Clover community in so many ways with food and medical care and dental care. So we're just so happy to be a part of it. How would you describe tonight's event? Oh, it will be a lot of fun. Um, we have a lot of people here who have been donors for many years. I mean, we have long-standing friends of this organization that are here tonight. And it's, it's not only a fun night that we're raising money, but it's also our way to kind of honor them because it's a nice event. It's a sit-down dinner. It's an open bar. There's live and silent auction, photo booth. I mean, but everything is really geared in a lot of ways to say thank you to the people who support us year round. I understand that for like 15 years, you guys have been involved we in have. this particular event. Yes. And not just a little bit, yep. but very generous to yep. make it possible sure. to say thank you. Why? Why is it so important to you? Uh, it's my dad. My dad started it a long time ago, like you said. and. He, this organization, the group of ladies and some men, uh, they really work their butts off to fundraise for the uh, for the community center, and and it's not that they need help, but they do, and the extra stuff that they get adds to their life, and that's what's important. And we love the community more than anything. Behind us, of course, there looks like some pretty cool oh, auction yeah. items. That's just the silent auction. There's about 70 items. And wow. then I think there's about 15 to 18 live items. So we've got a lot going on. Now, what type of assistance do people typically need in Clover that you've seen directly firsthand uh, the crisis assistance step up and help? The food. They have a free dental clinic. They provide transportation for their clients because this is a rural area and there's no transportation. Whatever they need to do, Clover Area Assistance Center is a one-stop shopping center for them. How will tonight's benefit, um, how will that be used? Well, actually, just a, about 65% straight out directly goes to clients. 
And then there's another 20 some percent that goes toward the services that you know, we need to be able to give services to clients. And you know, Clover is such an up and growing area. Some people would not even think there would be a need. It is a need. Out, you know, just looking at Lake Wiley, Clover within itself, and the, all of the glamour that's around it, surrounded Lake Wiley, oh gosh. But in the rural area, there's a need, oh gosh, it's a lot. How much do you hope to raise tonight? The well, more the better. The more the better. The okay, the ladies. Limit. The sky's the limit. Do we have a goal in mind? Uh, a well, definition I'm of what I'm looking back at what they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. And in past years, was it $50,000 last year? And so certainly my goal is to exceed past year. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Carolinas. If you'd like to see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com. Maybe you're thinking about buying or selling your home. Remember to call Carmen Miller. Live where you love and love where you live. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.